breeding grounds to trade with Ducker. That's the name of the enemy. Not bad. Whether at home or abroad, JTF-10 protected assets critical to the insurrection. Deep in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, they laid their traps for their enemies. Sana regalo. Ahora se ven enteros. Son escasos, pero se ven enteros. Regal is on the march. Ali Franky. Ali. JTF-10 seized key assets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. Toma la horizon. Acabamos de recuperar a Ether. Y vamos a ir a llevárselo a Gaia ahora mismo. Y tenemos un nuevo aliado en la base. Que es Cotalo. Ahora sí, ahora sí, ahora sí. Y se han arreglado los hologramas al recuperar a Ether. Mírala, mírala que feliz es. Ahora te ayudo. Eloy. Hablemos, por favor. Not in the field or relaxing at base. Joint Task Force 10 acted as one. What? Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, bruises. Eloy. These daredevils of the sky. Do you have a moment? Vamos a hablar con ella antes de ir. Blood of the Ten, Eloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We all just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need to say secondary. Quería hablar con ella antes de irme, pero bueno. My grandson, Cavill. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. Ah, que tu nieto está con Regala, maravilloso. He was taken prisoner. No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done Libro. for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. ¿Hacer qué? Que no estaba encima. Que eres tú, que eres tonto, que no sabes cogerla. Pero bueno. You said Kavo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then oh, it... their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. What made Kavo ah. join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the red raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. 
So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the Rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. Moore was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. Okay. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. Vale. Misiones. Misiones secundarias, muchas. Ahora, ahora tengo cuatro misiones secundarias. Eh... Vuelve a la base. Volvemos a la base. Volvemos a la base. Eh, oh, eh, oh, eh. Aquí hay una hoguera. Vamos para ahí. El destino no es válido. No, ya sé que no es válido porque me está pillando el, el arco y no la hoguera. Tira ahí. Vale. Ahora sí. Volvemos a la base. Viaje rápido. Defi está como un niño pequeño con el Mario Kart. Niñito pequeño con el Mario Kart. Ay, hombre, primera pantalla de carga que tarda más de lo que suele tardar. Hola, consola. ¿Cómo estás? ¿No estás sobrecalentada? Vamos, tú puedes. I see you, champion. Sit. Tú otra vez. ¿Tienes más rumores para mí? Choosing the right rations can be just as important to your chance of survival as choosing the right weapons. If you want food that'll save your life out in the wilds, go northwest to Saltbite. The cook there, Pintala, she'll whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, to knock or not. Oh, I'll I'll make sure to pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Esto, los recados son como misiones terciarias, vale. Que te explican eso. Race? Well, they definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Me acaba de salir una carrera de, 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 de hola. Me acaba de parecer una carrera de, de... what? No. Eh, eso. Puedes tirar en este tipo de juegos. En el caso del Horizon, sobre todo. Habiendo jugado el 1, puedes tirar a la misión principal. ¿Te vas a enterar de la historia? Sí. Ahora, lo que viene siendo trasfondo de mundo, todo eso está en las secundarias, macho. Es increíble. Te lo cuentan muy bien. Y luego ya, bueno, si las quieres hacer, las haces. Y si no, no las haces. Llegará un punto en el que te partirán la cara, te vas a pegar con un par de dinos y ya va. Continúas. Nada más es la césped de los dinos. Ya, ya, pero si no quieres hacer ex, pues te vas a pegar con dinos. Yeah, like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And yeah, my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. 
I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. He's trying to go tell the Uzi guy. Yeah, that's music. <laughs> Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean Cada uno hablando en los términos de su tribo. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Catalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Puedes dejar de flirtear con él en mi puta cara? Uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. Por favor. Hija de puta. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. If you keep frowning that hard, you'll get wrinkles. I just don't get this last part. Vamos a ver que nos Maybe we can look at it together later. Have a conversation about it. I'd like that. Que dejéis de flirtear en mi puta cara, coño. <laughs> wow, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah. And Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. With the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Paul. In este juego, las secundarias son Cristo. O sea, que argumentalmente están mejores que las del uno. Entiendo qué quieres decir. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo. I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora war chief could have so much in common. The juego. Singularity. Play I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long. You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Erend definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Hello. How's, uh, training with Zoe? You know we really are training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Entrenando. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, por supuesto. En mi puta cara flirtean. En mi puta cara. You guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory and All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. 
That one zenith almost killed me. Tito. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. ¿Cómo va eso, Nick? Va bien. Hemos recuperado una parte de Gaia y se la vamos a dar ahora. Así que es mi principal objetivo de hoy, que era por lo menos conseguir una parte de Gaia. Cumplido. ¿Has visto, ¿Has visto el emote, Katz? ¿Lo has visto? ¿Te gusta? Faro looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to plain song at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. No, the my chorus dear, no already lo thinks me a thorn in the thicket. My... If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be yeah. little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. Cariño. The Karja ah, Huntress. ¿es en Vasco? I haven't seen my armor tía, like hers my, since the Red Raids. Suena mi tía. Tells me that she too <laughs> suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. Luego te lo vuelvo a enseñar. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have Buddy. much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. Dile la cat. Dile la cat. Dile la cat. Dile la cat. Cat. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the old ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? <laughs> Not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. Me mola porque me da a mí que esto va a ser como como el Mass Effect que nos vamos a juntar uno de cada tribu. Vale, en el Mass Effect nos juntábamos prácticamente uno de cada raza. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. Okay. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us, so we could regain control of our lands with her terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much metal. Did Gaia tell you anything about the Zeniths? She did, though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here, it is humbling, to say the least, and heartbreaking. Pensar lo contrario that sería life should be bent on destroying ours. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakhs? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You don't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying Twice. them. 
twice. Oh. When the Karja invaded the Utaru Plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields, took our people as slaves, and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainzone. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. That couldn't have been easy, seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong, day after day. So I kept los piececitos. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... Yes. Yes. la manta. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned, to demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied, so I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone. I did, but it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the chorus spread through the plains. Before los I knew pies. it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors Está ready to fall into matita. battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on, but we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. ¿Puedes dejar de ponerme cosas nuevas y terminar de contarme la historia? Tanakh marshals climbed the cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plain Song. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others. Me mola porque los tatuajes de los Utaru son tatuajes. Pero tío, parece que se hayan incrustado piedras en la cara. I could either sing at people's graves or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Right, I should probably go. I shall return to our training then. ¿Qué es esto? Aloy, we've oh, gathered some supplies vale, in the vale. chest. Take what you Ori, need. Ori, cosquillas. Ori, haces cosquillas. Hey. Hey. A nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. It is a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. <laughs> That's nothing I can't handle. Right. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. When he's not getting all tongue-tied. 
I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but... By the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but... I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do. Sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful. You know? I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. Vale. I have to go. I guess it's back to reading. ¿Y dónde está el señor Cotalo? A ver, por ahí está Gaia. Le habrán dado una habitación. ¿Dónde estaban las habitaciones? Esto. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodation. The Parl y Zo. I see. Vale. Gracias por restregármelo otra vez por la cara. Era posible. Anybody seen one of my machine strike pieces around? Why don't you check the tower? Gaia. Oh, What's this one? habitaciones. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. And while those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Well, that's something. This is gonna take a while to read. <laughs> Looks like Aaron and Catalo moved their stuff in. Vale, ¿dónde está Catalo? Hello. Where are you? Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. My room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. Tengo una habitación. Vale. This is the rite of passage that Vishav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. It feels like so long ago now. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here. Ah, where it'll be vale. safe. Podemos dejar el colgante de Elizabeth ahí tranquilito, examinar. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia, and Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, recover the subfunctions, defeat Farzineth. Heal the world. 
I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud. Más que orgullosa, yo creo que podría descansar en paz. Han decorado esto, por lo que veo. Esto es una salida. Ahí bajamos las escaleras. Nah, usually works. Ahí está el coño está eh, la otra salida. ¿De dónde está Cotaro, tío? Cotalo. Aquí, vale. Justo en la habitación en la que no quería entrar. Is that what you're doing, Gaia? Yes. I have repurposed the displays to track the cauldrons you have acquired data from. Puedo arreglar algo. Hola, Cotalo. Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So... I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This... Hephaestus... It will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power... Has the world ever seen the like? Now that you know who the enemy is... Do you... Have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Uy, podemos hablar de los clanes. You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago, that you were part of the Sky Clan. ¿Qué te pasó con el otro yes. Bocatatla? Uy, deja de arañar. ¿Qué te pasó con el Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero. And I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. It never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Route? Takote knew. That if I survived the cool root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. 
one he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove, and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well, I'm honored he lent me his best marshal. At least for a little while. Indeed. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Route. Decca, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Route. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom and the awe it must have inspired. Vale. Pues vamos a entregarle a Kaya el componente. Verlo nos cuenta. El próximo será Poseidon. I will. Pero será para el juez que viene. O antes, no sé. En principio los jueves, ya veré. No está Gaia. Vamos allá.